Hi there, if you're editing a video and it has multiple tracks of audio, you can use buses in Fairlight to make the process a lot easier and quicker. What you can do is you can send the audio from multiple tracks to a single bus track and then use that single volume slider or fader to move things up and down to affect the overall volume of all of those other tracks. By using buses in Fairlight, it lets you create what's called a submix, which is essentially a mix of multiple tracks sent to a single track where the collection of individual sounds can be more easily controlled. So here we are in Fairlight and we've got one audio track which represents the vocals and we've got these two tracks here representing sound effect tracks. We could of course have many many more sound effect tracks, I'm just keeping it simple in this demo. What we're going to do is create a new track but this track doesn't have any audio clips on it, it's a track that we can use as a submix track. To do this come up to the Fairlight menu and then click the bus format option. What we're going to do is come down here and click the add bus button and then we can choose whether or not we want this mono or stereo. Let's choose stereo and we can also select a track color for this bus. Let's go for orange for this. We can go and change the name of this. I'm going to double click on bus 2 and we'll change this. We'll just call it sound effects bus and then click OK. If we just expand the mixer over we can see our new bus 2 here in orange called SFX bus. If we want to see it down here we just need to toggle automation on. Now we've got our sound effects bus here. If I play back this now, watch what happens in these two tracks. Both of these sound effects tracks are playing. If we wanted to adjust both sound effects up or down by the same amount, we'd have to adjust two faders here, but we could have 10 or even 20 sound effect channels. We'll just reset those by double clicking. Now we've got our submix track or our bus set up, what we need to do is send the output from those two sound effect channels to this new bus rather than straight to the audio output for the video. To do this I'm just going to turn off the meters here by clicking this meters button at the top. This is going to give us more information or more height in the tracks here. At the minute you can see these two sound effects tracks are routed to bus 1. And bus 1 is the main output bus for the mix here or the main output that gets sent to the encoded video file. What we're going to do is actually change this. I'm going to click on the drop down here and I'm going to change this to SFX bus. I'll do the same thing for both of these sound effects tracks. Watch what happens now if I play this back though. We don't actually get the sound effects output. I'm just going to mute this track for now so we can hear what's going on. The reason we're not getting any of these sound effects output is because we're routing the sound output from these two sound effects channels to this SFX bus here, but we don't actually have a bus output for this. What we need to do is send the audio that's sent to this bus out to the main output channel, in this case bus 1. If I play this back now, we should hear the sound effects which we do. So now we have this sound effects bus, what we can do is we can alter the volume of all of the sound effects tracks that we've routed to it using this one fader here. If I make this really quiet and play this back, sound effects are all really quiet. And if I max this out, hopefully this won't be too loud, we get overblown sound effects. Learning how to really make the audio in your videos pop will give you a massive advantage over other editors. It'll also help to give your final videos the professional polish they deserve. Check out the first link in the video description or scan this QR code to learn more about my Fairlight course and we'll get back to the video. Because the sound effects are all being routed to this single bus we could go and affect all sound effects so for example by adding a compressor to further help control the volume of all sound effects. You can also set up multiple buses or submixes. For example, you could have one submix for vocals, one submix for sound effects, another submix for music, and so on. This makes it a lot easier, for example, to produce a version of your video that doesn't have any dialogue because you can just turn the dialogue slider down or mute it, do an export of the video, and then you've got a version which can be dubbed over in other languages. When it comes to controlling the volume for a track, you can also use automation, which effectively lets you draw automation in to change the volume over time for the entire track. That's what you'll learn about in this next video. I'm Jason Roberts. Please subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. And hopefully I'll see you in the next one.